Now let us look at if the price of one of the good is going to change. Last in the last recording, we have looked at when the price of cloth and food both have changed in the same proportion. Now, supposedly on the price, only the price of cloth is changing and the price of food has remained constant. So we have drawn this kind of a diagram yesterday also. Hmm. We have the MPLC curve and MPLF curve and only the price of cloth is changing, right? That is increasing, let's say. So if that is increasing, what will happen is that uh, the MPL curve for the cloth is going to flip like this hmm. to MPLC one, if you or, or two, you want to say this is MPLC one. Okay. Now here, the first thing which is going to happen is that the amount of labor employed in the cloth sector that is going to increase and the amount of labor which was employed. So earlier, this much is the amount of labor in the cloth sector. This much is the amount of labor in the food sector. So they're almost equal. Now what has happened is that the amount of the labor in the cloth sector has increased. You'll see one LF1. And the amount of labor in the food sector has decreased because labor is increasing in this direction for the food sector and labor is increasing in this direction for the cloth sector. So I'll call this as point two. So what has happened is um, the amount of labor in the cloth sector has increased and the amount of labor in the food sector has decreased. Now, when the amount of labor in the cloth sector has increased, then the naturally the amount of the food, amount of the cloth which is going to be produced, that will also increase. That will also increase definitely. And the since the amount of labor which was producing food earlier, now it is producing cloth. So the amount of food in the economy is going to fall. That will happen. So what will also happen is that since PC has increased and PF has remained constant. So this slope will become steeper. The slope will become steeper. So earlier, the slope was at PC by PF1. Now the slope is at PC by PF2. Mm -hmm. PC by PF2. So what you have is this thing. Uh -huh. So you have what? The amount of the cloth in the economy has increased and amount of the food in the economy has reduced. So you were earlier at point one, now you were at point two, right? Uh, so, and also one more thing, the wages have increased. Uh, Wages is wages have increased from W1 to W2, but they have not increased in the same proportion as the increase in the price. So, so the amount of the increase in price is this much better. There, there is a parallel shift of MPLC curve. So, this is the amount of the increase in the price, but the amount of increase in the wage is only this much. The amount of the increase in the wage is only this much. In the last diagram. What you saw was that the amount of increase in the price and the amount of increase in the wage was same. Here, price of cloth has increased, but the wages have not increased in the same proportion. Right? Wages have not increased in the same proportion. You with me? Okay. Now let us look at what is going to be the effect of change in the relative prices in the income distribution. So, because the relative prices have changed, the welfare of the labor welfare of the capital owners, welfare of the land owners, that is going to change. So how is that going to be? Uh, so one thing is for sure, when uh, you look at the labor case, um, relative price of cloth has increased. Yes. Relative price of food has remained constant. Yes. Wage rate has increased. Yes. But 
द इंक्रीज इन वेज इज लेस देन द इंक्रीज इन द प्राइज ऑफ क्लॉथ दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव सीन सो रियल वेज इन क्लॉथ सेक्टर that is w by pc uh, that is going to fall real wage in the cloth sector is going to fall and uh, price of food is constant the wage is increasing so real wage in the food sector that is w by pf that is going to increase because your denominator is same and w and numerator is increasing so w by pf is going to increase one thing is there uh, but you can't say just on the basis of this that the labor as a whole is better off or not we can't say uh, we can't say that because one labor is employed in both food and the cloth sector so it is not a specific factor so supposedly if the labor would have employed only in the food sector then you could have said wow real wages have increased so yes they would have been better off but since they are employed in both the sectors you can't say i mean it all depends upon the relative importance of um, the two goods your cloth and the food in the workers consumption basket so how do we say this given this information please write this given this information we can't say whether workers are better off or worse off right this depends upon the relative importance of cloth and food in the workers consumption basket this depends upon the relative importance of cloth food in workers consumption in workers consumption one thing is this is about the labor what about the capital owners so those who are who are owning capital so in the cloth sector capital is a specific factor remember this okay acha one more thing your wages were earlier this much hmm because earlier wages were w1 or you can say yeah should i write this is like this huh. you've seen this earlier price was pc1 wages were w1 so real wage was w by pc1 okay and how much labor was employed lc1 okay. so if you just have a look at this this is or should i draw the curve like this so that the uh, i want to draw the curve in this fashion so that it's not easier for interpretation uh -huh. so like this okay. so if you uh, have a look at this so this area your this area
this area is the wage the amount of the labor which is employed into the wage so this is the wage and whatever is left out whatever is left out that is the income of the capital owned so the total product so because lc1 is being employed so the area under the mpl curve is the total product huh? so this is this yellow part is whatever is left out so this is the income of capitalists or income of capital owners this is initially what is happening this is initially what is happening huh? so wages these were wages mm -hmm. okay now what has happened is that the amount of real wage has decreased no huh amount of the real wage has decreased so it is w by pc2 right so now if you want to see the amount of or how should i draw this so this is the amount of the wage which you have to give and what is left out for the capital owners this area oh wow huh? so can you just have a look at this and and convince yourself that this is basically the increase in the this is the increase in income of the capital owners this green area increase in income of capital owners so capital owners are better off because of this price increase right capital owners are better off because of this price increase so the factors specific to the facts factors specific to the sector whose price has increased is better off right so please write factor specific to the sector whose relative price has increased is definitely better off is definitely better off so in this case what has happened is that capital is specific to the cloth sector and the price of cloth has increased so the factor specific to the sector in this case capital which is a specific factor of the cloth sector and the cloth sector's price is increased so the income owners your capital owners are definitely better off what about this guy what about this guy so i'll write it i'll draw it like this mm -hmm. so earlier this is the amount of the wage this is the amount of the uh, what do you call or i should draw it like this so that because they have increased na I'll draw it like this. I'll have one. Hmm. Okay. Now, wages have increased for the for the food sector. You've seen that. Right. 
and the amount of the labor which is employed in the food sector that has decreased. So, guys, earlier, this is the amount of the wage which you were giving to the food sector. Uh, and uh, this is the amount of the capital, uh, sorry, income which you were giving to the landowners, right? Now, what has happened? The amount of the wage which you are giving to this sector has, uh, what do you call, uh, it has, it has uh, reduced. Uh, and the amount of the wage which you are giving to this sector, it has increased. Amount of the wage which you are giving to this sector it has increased. Uh, so what has happened is that there is an increase in the, uh, this is not an increase. This is the fall in the income of uh, the landowners. No, there's a fall in the income of the landowners. So earlier the amount of, how should I tell this? The earlier the amount of the income which was given to the landowners was this much. Right now, the amount of the income which you are giving to the landowners is this much only this much. So, there is a fall now. I think I've, I've marked it wrong earlier. Earlier, the amount of the income which was given to the landowners was this much, mind you guys. Now, the amount of income which is given to the landowners is this much. So, there is a fall in income of the landowners by this much amount. So, this is the fall in income of landowners. Right? Because here the wages have increased uh, and uh, wages have increased. And because of this, there is a fall in the income of the landowners. Uh, so what has happened is that uh, the factor specific to the sector whose relative price has decreased. Is definitely worse off, right? So here in this case, in case of food, land is a specific factor. And the relative price of food is falling. So PF by PC is falling. Relative price of cloth is PC by PF. That is increasing because PF is constant. Relative price of food is what? PF by PC. PF is constant. PC is increasing. So relative price of food is falling. So the income of the, income of the owners of the specific factor in case of food, that is going to fall. And the welfare changes of the labor is ambiguous. Right? So... This is what we wanted to do in this class. Thank you, Vita.